What's up, Divine Feminine? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic as clowns. Divine Feminine, say it, clowns. If you don't say it, put it in the comments, because somebody is dealing with a clown on a daily basis. Now, this clown could be obsessive, insecure, overly competitive, angry, resentful, delusional as motherfuckers, mm -hmm. narcissistic, control freaks, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally abusive as motherfuckers, holding grudge as motherfuckers, those type of energies. These energies can be your family members, your partners, your neighbors, your co-workers, okay? These karmic energies can be anybody. So I, recre I created a little thing that I call the karmic tent. That thing right there, okay? That is a tent where you can throw all of the toxic ass energy, delusional ass energy, all the shit I said before, demonic ass energy. See, you're throwing them in this tent because you don't want to fight them in reality no more. You're tired of it. So you just got to, like, just withdraw from this person or these people. And if you need a spiritual healing, you can order a spiritual healing um, package for me for $33.33. It's not no big giant package. It's quick and simple. Okay, I put it that way. It's quick and simple. You ain't got to spend a whole lot of money. $33.33 will get you some spiritual healing. Okay, the inboxing. And if you would like a personal reading, um, the information is in the description box below if you need some spiritual advice. The information is in the description box below. Also for my Cash App and my PayPal. Um, thank, thank you to everybody for the donations, the likes, the shares, um, the thumbs up, the comments, all of that shit. I love it. Okay. So what I'm about to do right now, I'm about to expose these karmic energies and tell you what these motherfuckers. Now this ain't, won't be for everybody, but some of the energies may resonate with you. Okay. I'm just going to pull some cards and tell you some of the shit that these motherfuckers is going through. Because these are my karmic cards. Okay. They, they, they karmic, okay? So, <clears throat> please keep in mind, Divine Feminine, this, this reading may trigger you because I'm going to talk about spell work, okay? I'm going to talk about black magic. See, these are things that you may not be aware of that's going on around you. So, I'm, I'm this, this is the exposing channel, I'm telling you where I expose these karmic ass clowns, okay? Blood magic, sex magic, confusion magic, mirror magic, money magic. You may be wondering why why you, you going to work every day but your paycheck is just not, did you see that? That was a fucking fairy. It, it, we'll see, we'll see. Is it these cards? I do have fairies that come into my range, and I do so also have. Oh, that's a piece of land. Okay, it's a piece of land. It's on my Dallas Cowboys towel. Cow, cow. Dallas, my Dallas, my Dallas Cowboys towel. So that's the land block. Yeah, so you could be under spiritual attack and you may not know, okay? Some of you uh, could be a lot of fighting going on in your home. Um, confusion. Um, things falling apart. Things breaking down. So everything that I pull out in these cards, it'll may, it may, it will resonate with some of you. You just don't know. So I'm going to tell you. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors of the Highest, Whitest, Brightest Light. 
Show me what these karmics is going through. Show the energy of the karmics. Now we're gonna we're gonna be we're gonna throw these karmics in the tent. Now if you don't know like that, if, if it's your first time to my channel, that tent right there again is to throw these motherfuckers in it. They karmic ass energies. Whatever bad energies that come out there, Oscar get ready. Alright? Okay? Oscar ready. Now Oscar. I'll show you Oscar in a, in a second. Okay, um Maybe okay, so for some of you somebody's karmic has healed and has found a fucking two of cups. Okay, all right. Well, this could be your energy, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. It could be your energy. The roles can be reversed. But somebody is healing. Somebody is um, using their wisdom, their spiritual wisdom. There's two of cups out here, equal give and take. But it's something somebody is going to walk in on. Ooh. Damn. Oh. I was like, it's looking a little bit too good for these karmics now. But what actually is going on? These karmics have done a lot of breaking up of people's relationships, right? They've broken up a lot of people's two of cups. They've broken up a lot of soulmates, twin flames, and all of that shit. Because they're karmic. Now, <laughs> this karmic, now this energy can, can be anybody's energy. Okay, anybody can hold the energies that I'm saying. Okay, they can be in, a divine feminine can go in, into a karmic energy. I'm recording, Big Mouth. My son has autism. He's 18. He's big and tall, but he's just a big old baby. And he's in there fussing at my cats. He loves them and spoil them, but he he gets. Them. He gets on their asses. Like he hear me fussing at him. He mimics me. So he in there fussing at him. I guess they done did something in there that he fussing at him. But anyway, this is kind of funny, Divine Feminine. Because this masculine, this uh this karmic. Just like Now, so, now this, this, take it as it resonates. This ain't gonna be for everybody. It may resonate with some. It may not resonate with every, with nobody. It may resonate with everybody. I feel more or less that it's gonna resonate with a lot of you, and you're gonna laugh because when you had equal give and takes in your relationship, the devil sent this karmic right into your relationship where your shit just fell apart. You not one. You not knowing why your person start withdrawing their energy from you. Stop, you know, treating you a certain way. That's because this karma came in. Now, after she realized and she found out that you you have left your mask, she left him, and she found somebody new, and she has. A two of cups with this new person, right? She's called herself this. I don't read tarot, but she's like healed. Um, she's dealing with a, a a person younger than her. 
Mm -hmm. A Knight of Pentacles that got money. But guess what? She about to catch him in some shit. She gonna see that shit for herself. And if it's a male karmic, he's gonna catch his girl. Plain and simple. Karma. And the crazy thing is, these karmics is gonna be all in love with this person. But they gonna, but their person is gonna run into a karmic that's just like them. Mm -hmm. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Mm-hmm. Stuck energy. So you unstuck now. You ain't stuck to that shit is to that shit. Now she is. Or he is. Mm-hmm. This person, this person was being a fool. They 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 did some foolish shit. Here we go again. Yep. She she about to see she about to catch her person. She ain't caught him yet, but she about to. Or if she don't catch him, she gonna catch another karmic up in, in in his face. And this karmic is gonna be the same way she is. It's a challenge for her. That's the fuck she get. That's what she get. She's getting instant karma. I don't know how long you and your partner. This is for she. She broke your sheet, like I said, this is the bar fly, the Queen of Wands energy. She came in just to break up your relationship and then she going on. She even met somebody and it ain't even your person. It ain't even your person that she's having the two of cups with. She's having the two of cups with somebody else, but she's gonna meet herself. Just how she did you and came in between your relationship, dumped your person and, and just got what she needed to get out of them and left. Now she all in love with somebody. She ain't seen it, but she gonna walk in and catch him. She gonna see him. She gonna see some shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, Eba. She's gonna walk in on some shit. And that's the heart of her fucking energy. And she healed. She called herself healed. See, she was on a new, a new journey, a beginning of a new journey, not knowing what to expect. She took this leap of faith being spontaneous and shit. But now she running. See, and this karmic, <clears throat> she's she was she was like in the energy of staying home, loving and, and loving on her man and all of this shit. Was in no hurry to access her dreams because they there. This was her dream, my stomach felt. Mm-hmm. And, and the crazy thing is, just like this masculine, or her, her basically, somebody was throwing spell work. Now, this karmic, she knows about spirituality and stuff, but she's a fucking karmic. And she knows that she's getting, re gonna receive karma. Same thing she did to you. If she haven't got it, she's, she, she knows it's coming. Okay. She thought she had the key to this relationship. But she don't. She thought she had to lock the key and all that shit sealed. <laughs> Signed, sealed, and delivered. She thought she had it all, baby. But she don't. Because now, see, she thought... See, this is what people don't understand. They think... If they don't get instant karma, that they're not going to get it. It's like a person walking across the street. I don't wish this on nobody, but you damn near, you just missed getting hit by a bus or a car. You like, shit. I ain't, I, I missed that. I, it missed me, so it ain't. And then you walk down the street and go to another street and get hit. This is how this, this karmic energy is. 
she thought she couldn't get hit. But see, she forgot about all the shit she was doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now she's feeling how's <laughs> that. She's feeling backstabbed, betrayed, and defeated. See, because she carried that same energy and it was returned back to sin. Okay? Are you, are you feeling me? Lifeguard. She didn't guard her life. She threw out all this spare work and shit. She thought she was protecting herself. She thought she was wise. She thought she was going to have the two of cups. Or he thought. I say a lot of he because to me the women are the rivals. But there are some male ass bitches out here. Mm -hmm. She looking at him strange now. Mm -hmm. This, this, <laughs> this person, okay, I'm feeling like she or he, your person like left you for her or him, okay? Now, she left your person for somebody else. The person that she left your person for was emotionally manipulative, stingy. She couldn't trust him. He didn't. He he was he was fake, basically a king of cups in reverse. Okay, and she feels backstabbed. Well, that's what the fuck she gets. And it was a lot of stuff. See why she was doing all this stuff, plotting and planning to break your shit up. She don't know that spirit was plotting and planning to give her karma. She was unenlightened about this shit. Okay, she didn't know. Mm-hmm. She talking to her friends and all of that or going to um, somewhere she's discussing this with other people. She followed the deception. And it's crazy, see, the, the she she held secrets by being with your person, okay? And now this shit is coming to the light. That she's being backstabbed, that she's feeling defeated, that she's or he's feeling be betrayed. And now they running, okay? They took a foolish leap. See, what they did to you is coming back on them. And if it haven't came on them, it's about to. Now, for some of you, this has happened already. And some of you, this is currently happening. But throw they ass in that tent. Okay? She's in the tent. She's getting her karma. She tried to be revengeful for you. You probably don't even know her. Okay? This is somebody that your person was dealing with. Mm-hmm. Now she's been, um, she's not included. This person wasn't including her. Wasn't giving to her no money, no uh, nothing. Leaving her out in the cold. Leaving him out in the cold. See, and now she should be thinking. She got with her friends and talked about you. And now she got mental clarity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She tried to send suicide spells. Now, them suicide spells could be you killing your own relationship. You killing yourself. Killing your life. She had a breakthrough when that came through. But it's only on, on she had a breakthrough when it comes to her motherfucking karma. That's the breakthrough. 
she's seeing that her karma is successful. Like she thought her magic was successful towards you. It's successful, all right. But you protected yourself and that shit boomerang right back to her ass. So I'm gonna stop right there, okay? If you like this reading and if it resonates with you, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right, peace.